And it's currently half time 1 1 between Hume City and Northcote. But we're underway here at Knight Stadium. And the Knights, if he's streaming in wherever you are worldwide in their traditional red shirts, Green Gully in their green and yellow stripes too. And I uh, end up having to just touch it over. It'd be a relief, Adrian Zara too. Miscued the pass. The first shot on target for the afternoon. Straight into the arms of Nikola Roganovic. Fight in there from Gazman Dadjini. Not enough power to travel. Nikola Roganovic, the former Frankston Pine and Altona Magic Keeper. Grimwald, the flag down. The ball whipped in. And I'm not too sure from Grimwald if this was a cross or uh, an attempt to catch Lonkaric off guard. Um, but he did find a bit of space. Cano just caught flat footed. But uh, Long Carriage happy to, to watch that sail over the crossbar. Another corner for the Knights. And flicked across goal. Roganovic missed it. It came off Bran. As we see, they've went for the, the floater at the front post. And just trying to knock it towards that back post, but probably didn't get enough on it. Siri. And what a through ball too. It will hold up nicely for Towns and the cross coming in. Unable to control it at Ginny. That would have been interesting. Great play there. Suri and Townsend combining. And it was nearly finished for the Knights. And this time a good ball into space. Freeing up Cannell. His cross. It looked to be pinpointed at Ginny. One of the best crosses for the game. This time intercepted. It looked again to be Steve Burton doing his job. As we see, Cano. Andy Vargas. Playing it short and a waste of a set piece there. From Green Gully, particularly in the latter stages of this half. A chance here for Sanders. Blocked by Lonchardic and unable to hold it. Andy Vargas. Whipped back in by Burton. Lonchardic spilt it and I'm not happy with that Robinson but it will be Lonchardic's ball as the ball comes back in here you see uh, Lonchardic watching it and I think that's the correct decision by Lensman but just before that I think Andy Vargas uh, had he been given more than half a second's warning would have controlled that or even just got his foot in the right place but it just happened to bounce off him a Ginny the closest to breaking this deadlock and it remains a deadlock courtesy of a fine save from Nikola Roganovic as the Knights string forward again this time. Adrian Zara. And Zara just using that pace he's got as he's been overlapping run there from a genie. And he just spotted that Roganovic just off his line and tried to put it just a little bit past him, but um, unfortunately not able to, uh, to get it past Roganovic, who's been solid in goals for Gally tonight. Knights with the corner, flicked across Medvedevich, Townsend, a chance here, and Roganovic had to hold it, Colosimo was lurking. And as the ball comes in, Roganovic got knocked over his head in the first instance, and Townsend back in, but just with that massive grab Roganovic has. Sanders. Will need to go solo. No one up front. But now there's a run from Munoz. If Sanders spots it, he does. Munoz, the opening is there. And Sanders has created something from nothing to assist Jonathan Munoz. And he has Sanders. He's done well to keep his feet. He's held the ball long enough for Munoz to get in that possession on the left-hand side of the box. And Munoz, as calm as you like, just slots it past Longkaric. And it's the second consecutive week where Jonathan Munoz has scored. He did so against Heidelberg last week and he's found his name on the scorer's sheet this afternoon. Just looking for that opening, the Knights. Green Gully starting to close things down. Rocco. And a lucky deflection there as the Knights go forward. Colosimo. And Ollerton, not the best of clearances. An open goal loomed. And what were the Green Gully defence thinking there, Liam? I have no idea. Probably a miscommunication there, Simon. Um, and, yep, Roganovic was coming out to get the ball, but obviously didn't make himself heard. Um, but, again, just not able to pounce on the chance. Melbourne Knights worked forward. There by Zara. 
Suri. A chance here, Colosimo. And that's what the Knights needed. A piece of magic. Jacob Colosimo swooped onto that. He did. And again, coming through from the middle from Zara. He's been absolutely everywhere, as you've said. And great strike. Um, I think he's done everything he possibly could there. I don't think he could have put it anywhere else. But have uh, really found it difficult to translate that into chances. What can they do here? Filipovic. His touch. And Roganovic colliding with Townsend. And from the looks of it there, he's uh, whether it was on purpose or not, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say obviously it wasn't. But he just stood right on his arm or his shoulder there. And that looked very painful. And full time a signal and it's a crucial away victory for the Green Gully Cavaliers here at Knights Stadium. They're triumphant over the Melbourne Knights by a goal to nil. And the difference was a Jonathan Munoz finish in the 73rd minute.